There is some good news this morning. It's in the fight against the coronavirus. The numbers are still, unfortunately, very high. But nationwide, daily COVID cases are in steep decline. They're down by more than half from the peak of this Omicron surge. We're also getting new guidance from the CDC on quarantining your kids that are younger than five after being exposed to the virus. As Meg Oliver shows us, it can be a very tricky situation for parents. Here, it's a busy morning at the Lagan Negro House as their four girls get ready for school. After breakfast, mom Taryn takes four-year-old Genevieve and 22-month-old Rhea to daycare. My youngest was actually born like two weeks after the pandemic started, so it's been pretty much nonstop since then, and the unpredictability is crazy. With her youngest kids ineligible for COVID vaccines, that unpredictability finally led Lagan Negro to leave her corporate job in September. Whenever there was an exposure, everything shut down. The little ones would have to just stay home, and it was impossible to really work when that was going on. How many times were your youngest sent home? I think they each had two times that they had to quarantine throughout the fall. Um, for how long? Ten days for each of them. New guidance from the CDC now says children under five who are exposed to COVID-19 only need to quarantine for five days if asymptomatic. But any quarantine at all is still disruptive to daycare centers, says a Pleasant Day owner, Sandy Valcone. The hardest part for us is the constant fear of closing down classrooms with somebody getting it. How much of a financial burden is that on you? Well. Our teachers still get paid. Our parents have been wonderful and they have been paying the tuition. If it is twice in a month, we do give them the credit back. Can you sustain that? Well, we budgeted it for it. I don't know that for how long. Data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows the collapse of the number of childcare jobs at the start of the pandemic. And while roughly 90% of all jobs lost since February 2020 have been recovered, employment numbers fell again from September to December as the Omicron variant surged. Parents are totally at their breaking point. And a lot of, there's a lot of careers that are at their breaking point between healthcare workers and teachers. But parents, you know, parenthood is a career too. Now, since the CDC just updated their guide guidelines last Friday, Falcone told us they must wait for the New Jersey Department of Health to adopt them. Once that happens, kids in daycare will only have to quarantine for five days instead of eight. Nate? Meg, thank you.